What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Straight Edge Show. Back to review Child's Play, the Wii Boot. And this one evolves around an AI killer robot slash toy. So let's start with the story. Andy and Andy's mother does move into a new city and he's not really fitting in that his mama hoped he would. So his mama buys him an early birthday gift buddy that he names Chucky in a friendship blossoms but stranger things starts to happen people all uh, start dying and now andy thinks chutty has something to do with it and that's it when i'm gonna give it to you the story because i don't really want to give too much i don't want to give no spoilers this is a spoil free review so just talked about the good the bad and the ugly so i was really excited for this movie and I gotta say, it definitely delivers. I had a fun time. I was very entertaining the movie. And I love the a different take on this classic character. One thing they did different, Chucky and Annie's relationship is actually is a uh friends. They really they build this friendship very well. So when stuff starts to happen and Annie has to do something, you know, you feel, uh, Annie feels sorry. He doesn't want to do it. And you feel sorry for Chucky. And I love that other movie. That's one of the best parts of the movie. They build this friendship so well. I enjoy that part of the movie. Now, yes, did the Chucky. The design, I did not like at first, but when I saw the movie, it grew on me. Actually, seeing the, seeing the movie, I like the design. Uh, definitely, the original design is a little bit more better, a little bit more scary, but this design is fine with me. Actually, around the, when the movie starts doing, and around the end of it, actually, the, the look of Chucky grew on me, and I'm fine with the new, fine with this version of Chucky. It's a different version of Chucky. I enjoyed it. Mark Hamble does a voice. He does a great job, a different take on the character. And he does a very good performance. And I did like Chucky in this movie. And the Teals, the Teals are great in this movie. I enjoy, and I enjoy how they use technology with how Chucky kills people. I love that in the movie. So overall, Chucky was great. Yes, talked about Andy, uh, played by Gabriel Bankman. I thought he did a great job as Andy. And he gets a little more to do like the last, the original one where Andy, I feel like he had too much to do. And this one, Andy has a lot to do. And I thought he did a great job, Gabriel Bankman, especially when he came to doing emotional scenes. He delivers and he has very good chemistry with Aubrey Plaza. And yes, talked about Osley Plaza. She plays a single mother who's raising a child on her own. I think she plays a good job and play. And I was really a side host to play a more, I mean, more serious character. But she does have some moments where she can show, does some jokes. And Osley Plaza does a very good job in the movie, and I really enjoyed them. Yes, talked about directing. I thought the directing was very good, enjoyable. I, I love the directing. I, I really don't have no problem with how this movie was directed. I thought it was directed very well. The, it, and this movie dissolved its R rating. I really enjoy this movie. And especially, it gets bloody. The kills are good. You get to see it. You get to see the blood. All that. Glad I'm there. Glad. It really dissolves its R rating. This movie has very good pacing. I enjoyed from beginning to end. It was not one moment where one scene uh, was too long or one scene was too short. Uh, one part took me out of it. One part I was not really into the movie. None. I, I, I was into the movie from beginning to end and it has very good pacing. Now, some of the flaws I have with the movie. Brian Tyree Henry, 
Now, he doesn't do the formants, but he doesn't get that much to do. In the original movie, the detective had a little more to do. In this one, he really don't have that much to do. He does a good job, but my complaint is, you know, I wish he had a little bit more to do in the movie. That's the only problem I had with him. But he did a decent performance. Now, the one of the biggest gripes I had with the movie was Andy's friends. I thought they friends was horrible. I thought they was very bad acting. Um, happily, they are not in it too much, but they are in it enough where the movie takes a little dip when they are on screen because they are not good actors. And after that, that's the only problems I had with the movie. Overall, I enjoyed this movie. I was surprised how funny it was and how funny Chuffy was in a different way, but overall, I had a fun time with this movie. This movie does deliver what I wanted. So, I, and I would love to see, if this movie does well, I would love to see a sequel. So, I give Child's Play a 7.5 out of a 10. If you like this review, comment, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next Straight Edge Show review. Peace.